Hello folks, Reginald Scott here. How are you all doing? Nice to see you again if you're a returning viewer and if you're new here, I really appreciate you clicking on the video. Please, everybody, do like, do subscribe, do hit the notification bell, do share the video with a friend if you actually enjoyed it. And please do comment below. I really enjoy reading your comments. I do reply to all the comments and, um, you know, whatever they are. And I also benefit a lot and you benefit and everybody benefits from the comments because people have all got their own individual knowledge and ideas and uh, sometimes you thought of something that I didn't or he didn't so by making that comment we all learn something or different perspective that we didn't have before and that's what today's video is all about it's about perspective okay I want to talk about the UCI World Gravel Championships that just concluded uh, in Italy and my auntie who lives in Cittadella in the north of Italy in the Veneto whose town the gravel championships actually finished in um, that gravel event actually finished and she texted me and she said oh did you know that the UCI gravel race is going on here in Italy and I, I hadn't actually noticed um, until she told me and then I, you know, I checked it out and everything, and um, I saw the results. So, hometown for some of my family in Italy, beautiful place, recommend north of Italy if you want to go. Beautiful city of Cittadella, medieval city, full wall around it, full medieval wall. What I want to talk about is the bikes, because the three guys that were on the podium at the end of the event were all riding road bikes. Okay, interesting, isn't it? And for a long time now, I've seen road bikes get heavier, get disc brakes, get thicker frames, get fatter tires. I can't understand it actually when customers come to me here in Brunei, and our roads are pretty good in Brunei, they're pretty smooth. Um, we have nice roads here. And they come to me and they, they wanna stick 30 mil tires on their road bikes, and they're going fast in fast grooves. And I'm using 23 millimeter tires. Well, they come out at about 25 in reality, but they say 23 on the side. Um, but when you measure them on the rim, they actually come out to about 25 or just under 25. So I'm using 23 millimeter rims. They're using 30s or 28s that come out over 30. Um, and I can never understand it. Okay, I can't understand the point of the disc brakes when you're in a fast group on a flat road in the dry. I can't understand uh, the the use of these super fat tires and I can't understand the use of these super heavy road bikes I just don't get it and we're seeing that these heavy road bikes with the disc brakes and the fat tires make pretty excellent racing gravel bikes now granted the gravel that was done for this UCI event wasn't that gravelly it was basically just you know um no more difficult than the hell of the north you know it was no more difficult than paris Bay. um it was, it was pretty pathetic to be honest with you but the point i'm trying to make is this on my gravel bike and i have a gravel bike that i made myself out of an old steel touring frame um that bike takes maximum 37 millimeter knobbly tires and i have cantilever rim brakes on that bike as well because it's an old steel frame that 37 millimeter tire and that steel bike frame is enough to get me over any gravel I've encountered in Brunei and the gravel in Brunei is pretty tough I mean we're talking quarries and um, riverbeds and jungle it's tough gravel go look at some of my previous gravel rides it can be pretty pretty gravelly stuff pretty chunky stuff right and I've managed to do it on 35 millimeter slicks and 37 millimeter knobbly tires without too much trouble and pretty quick as well sometimes I even overtake people on modern gravel bikes and mountain bikes so you know a lot of it is obviously down to the skill of the rider but when I look at modern road bikes and I see how fat the tires are and I see the disc brakes I don't see a road bike I don't see a dedicated road bike what I see is something in between something more akin to an intermediate gravel bike so here's the point. Number one, are road bikes nowadays really road bikes? I would argue no. I would argue that you can't really get many proper road bikes, certainly not from the big manufacturers like Trex and Specialized and 
great people like that, they don't really make proper road bikes anymore because they're all going to these ridiculously fat tire sizes. Um, and they're all using disc brakes now. So if you want a proper road bike with rim brakes and, and a narrow clearance, you have to go to these uh, you know, more bespoke or more smaller companies. And the second thing is, if road bikes now make pretty competent gravel bikes because of the size of the tires you can fit in them, but like I say, I'm limited to 37 on my old steel frame, but some of these modern, modern road bikes, you can fit 40 millimeter plus in these bikes. That's a huge tire. That's bigger than what mountain bikes were using back in the 90s. And mountain bikes in the 90s could do some amazing stuff, okay? I mean, go check out, um, there's a video somewhere on YouTube, it's Mountain Bike Legends of the 90s. Incredible stuff that you can be, can be done on a relatively thin, no suspension steel mountain bike, it's phenomenal. Um, so you can, you can do pretty competent gravel riding on a road bike now. Why would you need a gravel bike? And here's the final question. Okay, a dedicated gravel bike, you can fit a much bigger tire, you'll probably get a 50 in there or something now, maybe even bigger. And some of them come with suspension, some of them come with, you know, um, you know like full suspension now. What's the point? Why not just buy a mountain bike? Like if you gave me a choice and you said, right, you can have two bikes, that's it. The last thing I would be buying in those two bikes would be a gravel bike. Because if I buy a road bike and a gravel bike, I can do road really well on the road bike and the gravel not much. And on the gravel bike, I can do road poorly and I can do most gravel, but not all. You know, most off-roading, but not everything. And the same goes if I chose a mountain bike and a road bike. I'd have fantastic all-terrain ability, but then my roadside would be lacking. So the logical choice is a road bike and a mountain bike, potentially a full suspension mountain bike with a locking suspension. So you can turn it off when you want to. And then for the mountain bike, you could stick slick tires on it for when you're doing your gravel rides. And when you then go off proper full on mountain biking, you stick your mountain bike wheels on it with your knobbly tires and off you go mountain biking and your road bike stays a lightweight, fast, nimble, dedicated road bike. So that's my thoughts on this thing. I found it very interesting to see the kind of bikes that we used and I found it very interesting for what it basically said about the bicycle industry and about what kind of products they're pushing. Now I know some people, they buy gravel bikes and they love them very much. But they tend to miss the point, I think. Um, they either haven't experienced a proper mountain bike or they haven't experienced a proper road bike. And so they see the, the gravel bike as being a good choice. And I can understand if you only want one bike and uh, you aren't particularly quick on the road or you don't mind being slow on the road, maybe you only commute by bike and the places you commute maybe have bridle paths or, or gravel tracks on the way to work then a gravel bike probably makes a lot of sense to some extent. However, a modern road bike can also do all that. So there you go. Um, what do you guys think? Is it, is it a bit crazy that those guys on the podium finished with basically essentially road bicycles? Is there such a thing as a road bicycle anymore in the big, big industry, road bike manufacturers? Um, and what two bikes would you choose? If you're a dedicated roadie, uh, what two bikes would you choose if you're a mountain biker? What two bikes would you choose? Or if you're someone who, who does a little bit of both, what bikes would you choose? Would you pick a gravel bike over a full suspension mountain bike for going off-road? It's an interesting choice, isn't it? Right, thanks for watching. As always, guys, stay safe. Thank you for uh, listening to my ramblings and um, hope you found it interesting and I hope you've got some interesting points to make yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.